and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution Blind. Well, let's see. Uh, first of all, thanks for all the comments. Uh, it's been really fun uh, reading them and, uh, and responding to them. Uh, there has been quite a lot of discussion about uh, not how the game should be played, but how it could be played. And uh, thankfully, there's no spoilers. I'm very grateful for that. Grateful for that. Thank you. Uh, uh, but it's been a very good read. Uh, some say that stealth might be the way to go. Some say that uh, running and gunning might be the way to go. Uh, I am probably going to do a little bit of both. Uh, actually, I... I, I come up with a kind of rules of engagement for me. Uh, I haven't played all that much of the game, so it might change, but what I'm thinking about is... Well, I, I call it Casual Stealth and Assault. C-S-A. <laughs> C-S-A. Uh, and what this is all about is if there is a way to uh, easily you know go around or sneak around or take down a person in a non-lethal way I would probably do it uh, so if there's a man in a corridor uh, just one of them I might just stun him or sneak past him uh, but when the bullet starts to fly either by me failing at stealth or uh, engaging the enemy, uh, then all bets are off. I feel that when people are shooting at me, firing bullets at me, trying to kill me, then they have to, you know, live with the consequences of, that, of, uh, of their actions. Uh, and the consequences in this case is death by Jensen. So I don't feel any regrets, regrets killing people who are actually trying to shoot me. Uh, unless, of course, they are like misguided fools or panicked professors or, or something like that, then I might try to go out of my way to, to uh, take them down non-lethally. But yeah, I might even start battles lethally uh, if I face an, uh, a, a foe that's more numerous than I am. So yeah, we'll see how that goes, see if it works. Uh, I only play like one mission. Uh, as a uh, augmented human, so yeah. Anyway, enough of that. We're uh, on our way to the debriefing. Uh, can I can I walk again? No. Uh, we're on our way to the debriefing uh, at Sarif's office. It's disgusting how public opinion has turned on David so quickly. Like it's his fault these lunatics keep attacking us. People seem to think we're hiding something. Only because Eliza Kazan keeps spinning it that way. Hmm. Seriously. It used to be that when David talked, all of Detroit listened. What happened? What happened is that David made too many promises he couldn't keep. 20 years ago, Detroit was on its last legs, remember? And Sarah Industries promised to pick it back up. Oh, like one company and one man can do that by himself. They're a bunch of ungrateful hacks, if you ask me. Oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> I, I, I just be on my way. Yeah, uh, the mission wasn't a total failure. Uh, actually, we uh, hello. Talks all over the office, Mr. J. You really took care of those purity first assholes. Wish I could have been there to see it. Yeah, uh, I think his office is down here somewhere. Uh, this whole thing just brings back bad memories. I love working here, but it's hard knowing that at any second. God, I can't talk about it. Another bunch of radicals burst through the door like right now and start shooting. I know. It's so awful. Because you'd be the first to... <laughs> I mean, you'd be... I'd be the first to what? Uh, nothing. Forget it. Wow. Nice. Uh, yeah. Very subtle. Uh... Mr. Jensen! Oh! Everyone's talking about what a great job you did saving the hostages. You're a real hero, sir. Can I 
Can I help you find something? Uh, yeah. I need to get to Seraph's office. Then you want to go to the penthouse. Use the elevator at the left wing of the building okay. to get there. Bye-bye. Thanks, I'll find my way. Of course. Have a good evening, sir. She's so cute. I love uh, girls with short hair. I don't know. There's something about them. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, I did finish the primary... Apparently the leader of the terrorists had a gun to her head. Jensen must have lost his cool because somehow Josie ended up full Hey! I knew he wasn't ready to be thrown back into action. Not after everything that happened. I'm standing right here. Oh yeah. Yeah, as I was saying. Uh, I did complete the primary mission, which, which was to uh, retrieve the Typhoon. Uh, I succeeded in secondary missions. Uh, at least one, which was to uh, get the hostages. Josie didn't make it. Neither did Sanders, the the uh, the man in charge of the purists, or uh, neither did that uh, Puritan with the cerebral implant. So th those three were actually only casualties, I think. Only three casualties. Uh, everyone else went down non-lethally. So I don't think I botched it too too bad. And I've taken precautions, you know, social implants. But I don't... How does it work? Here it is. <coughs> yeah. You'll probably see it in action uh, later on. And, uh... Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll learn how, how, to use it, how to use it then. I think it helps me... Uh, you know, uh, it, it shows me which, if I should emphasize with them or if I should confront them or be dominating and all that. Oh, very nice. Sexy but subtle. I like it. Oh well. See? Sorry, I can't let you in till he's done with his call and who knows how long that'll be. He's doing damage control. Something like that. You know Bill Taggart is giving a speech at the convention center soon, don't you? Who? The founder of the Humanity Front talking about horrors of augmentation research in Seraph's backyard. Oh. Eliza Kassan's been all over that one for months. The TV reporter. He's been in recovery, not a coma. Well, ten minutes ago, Taggart went on TV to publicly denounce all the violence that's been committed against us. He's telling the esteemed Miss Cassan that he wants a face-to-face -face uh. meeting with David to express his nice. most sincere condolences. Sarah's not considering that, is he? David's no fool. He knows better than to get roped oh. into a public debate, <laughs> but he can't simply ignore the man either. Uh, don't worry. I I'm sure he'll figure out something. Probably shouldn't poke around, but wow. Stop, stop, sorry, I can't turn off. Oh crap. Shut the door. Oh, okay. Uh No, 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 no need. Oh, it opens both ways. How convenient. Well, uh, but I wanna, I wanna see him. He's on the phone, Adam. You'll have to come back later. Okay. I'll just go to my office, maybe. Check the mail if I have one. I have no legs. Scary. Hello. Jensen. Didn't think I'd see you back here. I guess I couldn't find anyone competent to take your place. Yeah, the janitor the janitor is on my team. I like him. 
And this is me just wandering around, trying to... Oh, hello, Mr. Janitor number two. Good work securing the plant, Jensen. Those augmentations must have come in handy. Sure did. All I do is watch Pikus and listen to the one-sided pundits talk about us like we're monsters. Dory, your family has a right to their opinion. But they don't have the right to ostracize you for yours. They think I'm some kind of evil farmer. They say I'm harvesting fake body parts and allowing the butchers of the human race to carry out their plan. It's just awful. We all know how divided this country is right now. The Civil War split up families. So did the Iraq War, Texas separatism. At the end of the day, you have to do what you feel is right. That's Megan. Aww. A memorial. All the good guys were lost. To us, they have found immortality. They shall not grow old as we who are left grow old are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn them. In our hearts and in our minds, their devotion to science will always be remembered. To us they have found immortality. Wow, that was really awesome. I got to remember that one. That was really nice. Okay, so how about going upstairs? Oh yeah, I have a, a, a waypoint control thingy. Oh. By for a second, he was with purity first. I think someone slipped him into Sandra's group to manipulate yeah. thugs. Yeah, but who? Who would know we were developing the typhoon? Hmm. Same people who attacked us last time. <gasps> I mean, come on. We were testing it when they broke in. All right, I'll give you that. So what? You think a foreign government is behind this? Governments aren't the only ones hiring mercenaries mm. these days. Isolay, Kusanji, Taeyong Medical. Any one of our competitors could be behind this. Yep, yeah. conspiracies. That's why I love Deus Ex. Those augmentations weighing you down or something, Jensen? No way you snuck past many terrorists stomping around like that. Hey, some respect. Everybody's saying you did a great job at the plant, Adam. Apparently there wasn't much bloodshed thanks to you. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm awesome, I'm awesome. Let's see, let's go to my office first. I think that's my office. Which means... What did we talk about? David and Hugh Darrow? Hell if I know. What did Bill Gates and Steve Jobs talk about? <laughs> I bet he's trying to convince him to come out of hiding and make a statement that will counteract Bill Taggart. Darrow is not hiding. He's working day and night in the Arctic, trying to save the world. It's what millionaires do when they get bored. They save the world. Didn't you know that? <laughs> Can you believe it? There are people out there siding with the bastards who attacked us. Defending the human race, my ass. Mm -hmm. Security manager. Security manager. I think that's me. Hey. Oh, did you hear yet? There was a demonstration at the limb clinic. Anti-augmenters. Mostly peaceful, though. Oh, that's good. I have no problems with peaceful, um... No kidding. General O'Neill would have cancelled all our military contracts if anyone got a look at it. O'Neill would be the least of our problems. What do you mean? Think about it, Calvin. The Typhoon is a suicide terrorist's dream. Imagine if Pike has found out our own government requested it. Oh, right. Well, lucky for us, Jensen was there to recover. Mm -hmm. Damn straight. I want. To, I think I want a typhoon, actually. Ah, it's a robot. Clean. Obey me. No. No robot slave for me. Uh, uh, uh. Wow, you still have files? Oh! <laughs> Let's take a look. No, that's not. Hey, why is camera 4 offline? 
can't do anything with robots and turrets. That's okay. Uh, oh, for me? Oh yeah, uh, Riston, uh, one of my watchers, said that there's actually somehow to examine, some way to examine these things. How do I examine? Examine button? Aha! Uh -huh. Stun gun. Knock individual targets unconscious, unconscious at close range. Oh! Useful on robots and electronic devices to confuse them. And not very much damage at all. That's okay. So, we have this as well. How did I... Oh. Machine pistol. Low power, high rate of fire. Multiple weaker enemies. Okay. <laughs> I'm not a gangbanger. Hmm. Also the choice of special ops agents and tank crews. I think I want some kind of assault rifle. Or a shotgun. Tell me, me tell me, oh, can't speak English today. Ten millimeter pistol. Uh, lethal weapon, medium range. Mm -mm. Short effective range. And it's modifiable with armor piercing rounds. Okay. There's so much in this game to discover. Uh, I'm guessing they they won't take away all my items from, from the previous mission so I can sell stuff maybe. Okay. Uh, nuke virus, ammo, machine gun. Okay, good. Okay, thank Kristen. Pocket secretary. New login. Uh, didn't know if you were coming back, so I deleted your entire network account. I only received the order to set up a new one a few minutes ago. Sorry. So if you don't like the password I picked, live with it. Hey, <laughs> yeah, I appreciate, of course. Mandrake. Okay, that's good to know. The password should also work on your home computer. Agents and Mandrake. Okay. Uh, forward. Minor security concern. Adam, I really don't mean to bug you on this. But I think I've got another suspect in those neuroposine thefts. Oh, is this a side quest? I caught Denzel Mitchell going over my stack of Versa Life purchase orders. He said he needed to verify the legal address for a contract David wanted him to look over. But he'd have that but he'd have that address on a dozen correspondences already. For a lawyer, you think he'd be able to come up with a better defense. His store code is 1364, by the way. 1364. Oh, yeah, I got came prepared with a piece of paper and a pen. Mm. Someone's been stealing near Posein. Run through the security tapes. Usually on nights when Will Rossellini wasn't in charge. Frank wanted to search Will's office immediately and even gave me the access code 3716, but I told him to wait. Okay, so I can talk to Will as well. Will, office 23, code is 3716. Okay, so we've got two suspects. One night shift worker and a lawyer. Oh, okay. Let's check out that room 23. 23. So, 
That should be one floor down. If all the threes are up here, that means go down, down, down. Twenty-three. Uh, three. Oh, that's convenient. I want, I want these. These are awesome. I want them in my apartment. Okay. Ebook. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Snoopy, Snoopy. I can't move the chair now. Let's just check his computer. <sighs> Okay, so what exactly are you accusing me of, Frank? Yes, I have taken quantities of new bosine out of the lab. It's part of my research. But I also logged each and every drop used and placed all unused supplies back in the freezer before leaving. And I was not the only one working late those nights. Talk to Berger, he 